because you are Lord and you are God. We thank you for this amazing family. We thank you because you have put this family together. And you are raising this family with a unique plan and purpose. We pray, my Lord and my God, that what you have started, what you are continuing, what you have done thus far, we pray that you will continue and you will continue to glorify yourself in this house, in this family, and in every individual. We pray, my Lord and my God, that let your presence be manifested in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity to thank God and also to thank my brother, my friend, Pastor C.B., and uh, his beautiful wife, and also the leadership of this church. God richly bless you for having us as your guests this morning. Amen. And thank you all for coming out. Hallelujah. I want to quickly share with us from a very familiar passage in Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. It's a very familiar passage. If I begin to read right now, somebody will say, Pastor, can you please stop? Let me just say it. Hallelujah. It's a very familiar passage, but I want all of us to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. Amen. Luke chapter 19. I want to read from verses 5. Through 10. Luke chapter 19. I want to read from verses 5 through 10. I want to read from the New Living Translation. New Living Translation. It says, When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, Quick, come down. I must be a guest. In your home today. I must be a guest in your home today. Jesus quickly, Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and looked and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He has gone to be the guest of of a notorious sinner. They didn't just say he was a sinner. They said he's a notorious sinner. They grumbled. I don't know what label they have placed on you. But with Zacchaeus, they called him a notorious sinner. What label have men labeled you? How have people who for one reason or the other have decided they don't like your business have decided to label you. The next verse says, Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor, Lord, and if I have cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much, Jesus responded, salvation has come to this home today. For this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and save those who are lost. I want to quickly share with us on the subject, personal special guests. Personal special guest. Jesus wants to be your personal special guest today. And the question is, will you accept Jesus today as your personal special guest? Hallelujah. If we read from the very first verse, the Bible says that Jesus entered 
Jericho and made his way through the town. So Jesus was passing through the town. He did not come to, to lodge in the town. He did not come to stay in the town. He was just passing through the town. But whilst he was passing through the town, he started drawing crowd. And the crowd were following him. And the crowd were all shouting. And something began to strike Zacchaeus. Wherever he was, whether he was home, whether he was out somewhere, something struck him. And he heard some loud noise. And the noise drew his attention. And he found out what was going on. And he got to know that Jesus, the Son of God, was passing through our town today. Hallelujah. And when he heard that Jesus was passing through the town, the crowd was so heavy that Zacchaeus was not able to get close. And the crowd were screaming. But they were just screaming. But Zacchaeus had an intention. He said, I must see Jesus today. But he was challenged by his height. And his height could not allow him to get close to Jesus. If somebody says, I want to see you, it means the person has something he wants to tell you. Or the person needs something he wants you to help him or her with. And so Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. And he wanted to see him so badly. That a man whom the Bible described as one of the richest people in town decided to climb a tree. The Bible said he became very rich because he was the tax, uh, the chief tax collector in town. And if you are the tax commissioner, IRS, if you are that man, one reason or the other, you will become rich. And he's been doing this for a long time. And he was so rich. But whilst he was becoming rich, he didn't have peace in his life. He was rich, but he did not have peace. He was rich. But he did not have a personal relationship with God. He was so rich, but he did not know God. And so he was lacking God in his life. And when you lack God in your life, not everything shall work out for you. You may have a big house, probably a mansion. You may have so many big cars. Maybe everything else was available to him because he was rich. But deep inside, he was hungry. He was yearning for something. I don't know what you are lacking today. Hallelujah. Jesus in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man will hear my voice, if any man will open the door, I shall come in and I shall be your personal guest and we will share a meal together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One thing also that stood out for me or the Holy Ghost drew my attention to was that there were so many people in the crowd following Jesus but they were just following him. They were just following. But Zacchaeus wanted to see him. It is one, one thing to just follow, but it is another to wanting to see him and to talk to him and for him to talk to you. When was the last time you talked to God and God talked to you? When was the last time you talk to the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost talk to you. When was the last time you had a one-on-one communication with God? My prayer is that today 
today, before you walk out, you will be like Zacchaeus. The Bible says that Zacchaeus, knowing that the crowd was so heavy and he could not get to Jesus, ran ahead because he figured out the route Jesus was going to go. And so he went ahead and climbed a tree. How desperate are you to meet Jesus today? How serious is it for you to have a personal one-on-one -on -one with God? There are most of us who come to church and when we come to church, we just come because we have to come. And there are most of us who, when we come, we just stay. We don't pay attention. We don't focus. And whatever the man of God, the woman of God for the day is bringing to us, even though we are present, yet we are not able to catch it. We are not able to catch it. We just came and we stay and we are around. And when service is over, we all say praise the Lord. And we, 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 we shake somebody, we say hello to somebody and we walk away. And when you walk away, how will your week be? How will the rest of your day be? My prayer is that today you will take Jesus home. Ah, I didn't hear you. I said my prayer is that today you will take Jesus home. My prayer is that today Jesus will be your personal guest. Hallelujah. When Zacchaeus ran and he was climbing the tree, his desire is that today must be the day that everything changes in my life. I am rich. I have a beautiful family. Yet, my deep inside, there is a hunger. Deep inside, there is a thirst. What is the void in your heart? What is the empty space in your heart? A lot of times, we try to fill it with other things. Some people, when, when they feel empty, they run to the mall and they shop and shop and shop and shop. And because of that, some of us, we have stuff that we have bought. Maybe from last year. Maybe from two years ago. Maybe from five years ago. That the, the tag is still on. Not necessarily because we needed it. But because the money is there. So we just keep shopping. And some of us, we have things that we have even forgotten. That we have. And some of us have things that we have even either become maybe grown out of because maybe God is blessing you but you are not realizing the blessing. My prayer is that something will happen in you today that will change your life permanently. Hallelujah. The Bible says Zacchaeus was on the tree and Jesus was still walking by. But when he got there, he stopped. He looked up. He called to him, Zacchaeus, come down. Because today, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, today, I want to be in your house. I must be your personal special guest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many? How many? How many? If Jesus was here today and he said he wants to be your personal special guest. How many of us will say no. How many of us will say no? But because we don't see him in person, when we come here, we think it's Pastor CB. And so we don't pay attention. But it is Jesus in Pastor CB talking to you. 
Hallelujah. 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 How, how many believe that God through Pastor CB has spoken to you before? How many believe that? That God through Pastor CB has spoken to you before and you knew this was God. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody like that? Hallelujah. Then I want to call your attention that stop just being in the crowd. Because there were so many people who were just in the crowd. And they were just walking with Jesus and they were just shouting and they were making noise and they were screaming and whatever they wanted to do. But they were distracted. They were distracted. They were distracted. They were not focused. My prayer is that from today you will be focused. Can you tell yourself be focused? Can you tell yourself be focused? Can you talk to yourself? Tell yourself be focused. Can you talk to yourself? Say, Seaborn, be focused. Call your name and say, be focused. Amen. 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 And, and so many people were in the crowd that were distracted here and there. And they were just in the crowd. And they were not paying attention. But when Jesus called Zacchaeus and said, come down. I want you to pay attention here. And said, come down. Today, I want to go home with you. <laughs> they were troubled. Why are they troubled? You had been walking with him all this time. You never shown interest. You never was focused. But Zacchaeus, from the time he came out and saw the crowd and realized that I cannot get to Jesus if I just want to go. And so he had to use a strategy. What is your strategy for meeting Jesus? What is your strategy for meeting with the Holy Ghost? What is your strategy? What are you asking God to help you with? Zacchaeus was very rich man. Maybe you are under the sound of my voice. You have a beautiful family. You have a beautiful job. You are, you are well paid. And so money is not a problem for you. But how is your relationship with God? If Jesus shall return today, if the trumpet shall sound, where will you be? Are you ready right now? If the trumpet sounds right now, are you ready? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, today, I will go home with you. And that was all he said. And they started walking. And then the people were troubled and they started calling him names. Look at Jesus. Who claimed to be the son of God. Look at who he is going home with. Look at who he is going to stay with. Look at who he is going to lodge with. Look. So in all of this town, Jesus didn't find anybody. Maybe you are looking at yourself and you are thinking, I'm the one. But if you are the one, how have you positioned yourself to be the one? How much hungry are you for God? How much thirsty are you for God? Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door and I'm knocking. Can you hear his voice? Can you hear his knock on the door of your heart? Jesus is knocking. 
Jesus is knocking. I said, Jesus is knocking. The Holy Ghost is knocking. The Holy Ghost is knocking. He is knocking your door. He is knocking your door. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to open the door. He wants you to bring him in. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. The Holy Ghost is at the door of your heart. He wants to come in. Will you allow him? Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible says, when they saw Jesus going home with Zacchaeus, they started saying, he is going to be with a notorious sinner. A notorious sinner. It means that somebody whose sin everybody knows. Everybody knows what he does. Because he's an IRS officer. Everybody knows what he does. And so they know that he cheats people. He robs people of their money. And you all know how IRS, how powerful IRS is. If they want your money and you don't give it to them, if it's in your bank, they can come for it. If it's in your account, they can come for it. Even if they need to take your car, they will take it. If they need to take your home, they will take it. Whatever they need to take, whatever investment you have, and you think you are hiding it, hiding it, hiding it, hiding it from everybody. Maybe your husband doesn't know. Maybe your wife doesn't know. Maybe your family doesn't know. When IRS said they are coming after you, they will find it. So, this man can get to anybody and take their money. Whether it's right or not, they take it. I remember one time, I paid my rent. And so, the, 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 the apartment complex called me and they said, your, your check didn't go through. And I said, seriously? What happened? They said, okay, then you have to call your bank. I called my bank. They said, IRS has placed a lien on my account. And they have taken everything in the account. They took everything. They didn't leave even a dime. And I was like, what am I going to do? Because the bank has already started charging me for the, the returned items. What am I going to do? In short, if it had not taken the grace of God that I, uh, I, I got to know of somebody who is able to handle the IRS, I don't know. And it was a good money. But they took it. They didn't ask me. <laughs> they didn't ask me. They just took it. Maybe. Zacchaeus was doing the same thing. But this day something happened. And he said. Lord. After the, he's taking Jesus home, and people were grumbling. See, ladies and gentlemen, when people are grumbling about you, don't, don't worry about them. Can you, can you hear me? Because you can't stop people from grumbling or talking about you. You can't stop them from labeling you or calling you names. You cannot stop them. If you try to uh, talk to somebody to talk to him, before you know somebody else is talking about you, before, can you be calling people to talk to all those people? Or do you want to go to the, to the uh, uh, news station to ask everybody to stop talking about you? Or when you do that, you just have announced that there is something wrong with you and everybody must talk about you. Praise the Lord. So Zacchaeus didn't mind the people who were in the crowd, but who were not Pay attention to Jesus. He just focused on Jesus. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you and I can focus on Jesus, there is something that is about to happen in your life. Hallelujah. If you can just focus, something will change in your life. Something will break loose in your life. Something will be transformed in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that that day, the Bible says that Zacchaeus, verse 8, it says, Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor, Lord, and if I have cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much. If I have cheated people, I will give it back to them four times. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know what was going on? The Holy Ghost was convicting Zacchaeus. The Holy Ghost was telling Zacchaeus, it is time to change your life. It is time to repent. It is time to repent. It is time to repent. The reason why people are talking about you, it is time to repent. Can somebody lift up your hands and say, it is time for repentance. Can you say again, it is time for repentance. It is time for a turnaround. It is time for a U-turn. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so Zacchaeus made that declaration. So stop worrying about what people are saying about you. Just go with God. Just focus on the Holy Ghost. And if there is something wrong in your life, why they are talking about you, make it right. Make peace with God. I say make peace with God. And when you make peace with God, God is able to change everything people are saying about you. Hallelujah. Nobody knows the names of those people. But we know the name of Zacchaeus. And we are still talking about him. And I came to announce to somebody that whatever people are saying about you today, just reflect into your life and see. Is it true? If it is true, call on God to help you to change. Hallelujah. If it's any addiction, the Holy Ghost can help you to change. Amen? If it is sexual perversion, the Holy Ghost can help you to change. Even if it is sickness, the Holy Ghost can help you to change. Because there was a woman who for 18 years, the Bible says she was bowed together and could not lift herself up. And when she could not lift herself up, the day she met Jesus, Jesus saw her and said, Woman, thou art loose. I came to speak to somebody. You are loose from your sickness. You are loose from your infirmity. You are loose from your troubles. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The woman had been sick for 18 years. But that day, something changed. May something change in your life. I pray that something will change in your life. Whatever has kept you down, and you can't lift yourself up. May that change today. May God lose you. May the Holy Ghost lose you. May your story change. May you be able to lift yourself up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Again, there is another woman. Who for, for 12 years had been bleeding. If you bleed even for a week. You become weak. But this woman was bleeding for 12, week, 12 years straight. And when this woman heard that Jesus was in town, she said, if I can just but touch the hem of his garments. Hallelujah. Can you touch the hem of Jesus' garment today? Hallelujah. I don't know what you are bleeding of. I don't know, I don't know what is bleeding out of your life. I don't know what is making you weak. But today I pray for you. May you touch the hem 
of the garments of Jesus. And may you be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And may you be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you are bleeding, let them come to a standstill. Let it come to a stop. Let there be a turnover. Let there be a break by the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I pray for you that before you walk out of here, there shall be a healing. Hallelujah. I said there shall be a healing. As you hear the word of God, let there be healing. As you hear the word of God, may the Holy Ghost touch you. As you hear the word of God, let there be a breakthrough. As you hear the word of God, let there be a deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalima Ruya. Yembro ye kalima Ruya. Yembro ye kalima Ruya. Many people have, have suffered for so long. And many people are still suffering. If you are suffering of anything, I want you to know today that Jesus has taken your suffering. Amen. Jesus took it so that you will not take it. Because by his stripes, you are healed. I said by his stripes, you are healed. I said by his stripes, you are healed. You are healed. If you can hear me, wherever you can hear me from, by his stripes, you are healed. There are some people, it is not physical sickness. They don't have any pain in their body. But emotionally, they have been broken. They have been tortured. They have been abused. And, and, and they are frustrated. And sometimes they just snap and they are angry. And sometimes they can't even explain why they are angry. Because they have emotional trauma. If you are like that, today I pray for you. May the Holy Ghost touch you. I say may the Holy Ghost touch you. Some, some people, you were abused by family. Some people, you are abused by somebody you don't know. And some people, you work so hard. But you are not paid. It's workplace abuse. Oh, Jesus. And so, the money you are supposed to get, you never get it. They underpay you. And so, you are always troubled. You know that I'm a hard worker. You know you work hard. But they never pay you like that. And that has caused you trouble. And you are troubled all over your, your, your system. I pray for you that you will be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Holy Ghost touch you. May the fire of the Holy Ghost touch you now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the next few minutes. If there is anybody who is sick among us, can you please stand to your feet? You have an eye problem? Eye irritation. Can you please stand to your feet? Is there anybody else? Who, who is sick anywhere? Is there anybody else? Who have any, any kind of problem? Whether it is physical or emotional, whether it is spiritual, some of us, all kinds of forces are troubling us and we don't have peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these loved ones that you touch them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, touch them. Holy Ghost, touch them. Holy Ghost, touch them. Let there be a change. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a healing. Let there be a breakthrough from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Can somebody shout, I am healed? Can somebody shout, I am healed? Can you shout, I am healed? By the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. If you believe that, give the Lord some clap offering. Hallelujah. Clap to the glory of God. 
Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you have to take your, your healing by force. By faith. Amen. Because if you don't take it by faith, the devil doesn't want to leave you. Hallelujah. First lady on this birthday, heaven, I pray that heaven will not stop smiling on you. And will bring you a smile that will change everything about you forever. That whatever the enemy meant for evil, may God turn around for your good. Whatever the enemy think that he used to cripple you, may that bring you smile. That will never end. May you smile and continue smiling. And continue smiling. Not just because you want to show off, but because the Holy Ghost is allowing you to smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something is happening on the inside. Today is not just your birthday. Today is heaven doing something in your life. Hallelujah. 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 I pray for this church. I pray for this church. That God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, shall begin to break you out. And every soul that the enemy thinks he is driving away, may God replace them double, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, sometimes the devil thinks that he will cause you pain. But God said in Zechariah, for all your troubles, I will give you double. Amen? If you read Zechariah chapter 9, he says, for all your troubles, I will give you double. And everything that has been fighting you, I will take them out of your life. Amen? May God take everything that has been fighting you in your personal life, in your health, in your marriage. There are some people there. It's just fight and fight and fight everywhere. But today, may God give you peace. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. May God give you that peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And may you know the peace of God. That that peace will never change. And the world can never take it away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in this house. Who has any kind of challenge. I pray for anybody in this house. Who have any kind of trouble. May the Holy Ghost touch you today. May the Holy Ghost touch you today. I say may the Holy Ghost touch you today. May you. Can you lay your hands on your head and say, I receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. 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 Right now, right now, right now, right now. Sit down, take your hands off my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I end, if there is anybody among us, who doesn't have Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And today you want to hear, you want to give your life to Jesus. Like Zacchaeus gave his life. Zacchaeus was going to church, but he never gave his life. But that day, he gave his life and Jesus said, today, salvation has come to this house. Hallelujah. If you are here, and you have been coming here, but you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Can you please wave your hand? Or maybe today is your first time that you are here. Or maybe you have come a couple of times. Because a friend has invited you. But you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Can you please wave your hand? If you want to give your life to Jesus this afternoon. Can you please wave your hand? Is there anybody like that? Is everybody a member of this church? Has everybody given their life to Jesus one way or the other? Even if not in this church, have you given your life to Jesus?
Because Jesus is coming soon. I said, Jesus is coming soon. And you have to be ready to meet him. Whether in this church or wherever God has planted you. Amen. Can we please bow down our heads? Father, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for everybody under the sound of my voice. I pray for each and every one of them. I pray that you will meet all of their needs. I pray that you will grant them the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. And I pray for Pastor Sibi and his family. I pray for greater glory. 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 I pray for greater fire. I pray for greater fire. I pray for greater fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the fire of God upon your life will never go down. It shall increase. It shall multiply. It shall be stronger. In the mighty name of Jesus. And many shall be drawn by that fire. And I pray that you will walk in the authority of the Holy Ghost. And your anointing will be unlimited. May you walk in the supernatural grace and power of God. In Jesus mighty name. You are blessed. You are blessed. Your family is blessed. This church family is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody lift up your, your hands and say from today. Jesus is my personal special guest. Amen. Amen. Please take Jesus home. Don't leave him. Don't just be a church goer. Let Jesus become your personal guest and keep him in your house and in your heart. God richly bless you all for your time.